Looking for an easy treat that's sweet to eat? Stay tuned and Donut Touch That Dial. Hello, my dears. Welcome back to another episode of Bake Me Up Buttercup. Today, we are gonna be testing out a fun little baking contraption. My lovely aunt sent me this adorable little device. It is a cake pop and donut hole maker. I was quite intrigued and I do so love donut holes. So I thought it would be fun to give it a spin. Let's go. Let's start by making a basic cake donut batter. Begin by measuring out one cup of cake flour. Add in one half teaspoon of baking powder, one half teaspoon of salt, and one quarter teaspoon of nutmeg. Give these a good whisk to combine. Now we will set this aside to work on our wet ingredients. In a large bowl, measure out one third cup of sugar and two tablespoons of melted butter. Whisk these together well. Next, add in one egg and one half teaspoon of vanilla. Time to whisk them up. Now we will add in our dried ingredients a small amount at a time, alternating with one third cup of milk. Stir together until just combined between each addition. Our batter is ready, so it's time for the fun part. First, we need to plug in our donut hole maker and let it preheat. You will know when it is ready when a green light illuminates on the top. To keep our donuts from sticking, we are going to brush the top and the bottom cooking plates with a little bit of vegetable oil. Brush, 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 brush. Carefully spoon a heaping teaspoon into each little hole. Oh no. I'm not doing this very neatly, am I? Once they have all been filled, we will close it tight and wait about five minutes. After five minutes have passed, lift the lid up very carefully. Whoa! We have some escapees. We'll go over here. Looked like some of them cooked more than others. Very interesting. I'm going to remove some of these dark ones. Whoa! Well, oh, they smell lovely. Some of them didn't cook quite as evenly. Let's see if we can roll those over. I'm gonna let them sit for about another minute. All right, let's remove the rest of these and place them on the cooling rack. Perfect. Gosh, aren't they just so cute? All right, we will repeat this process until all of the batter has been cooked. All right, round two. Let's see how these turned out. Hot. 
Hold one step to the top. We'll take you out, little friend. And it looks like I didn't do such a good job filling them this time. Some of them are quite overfilled. And then other ones seem to be a bit underfilled. We'll just roll you over. Oh, it kind of looks like a little Saturn. They're out of this world. I'm sure these would taste lovely all on their own. But you know what makes any donut taste even better? Why, loads of tasty powdered sugar, of course. Start with four tablespoons of melted butter and one cup of sifted powdered sugar in individual bowls. We will roll each donut hole one at a time into the butter first, then the powdered sugar until completely coated. This is so fun! And that's it! Quick, easy, and adorable donut holes! Gosh, that is such a fun little contraption! And these donuts taste so delicious! Because they aren't fried, they don't have a greasy taste at all and are wonderfully light and airy. It would be quite easy to eat the entire batch in one sitting. Oh my! I hope you enjoyed learning how to use this fun little device today. It also says it can make cake pops. If you are interested in seeing me test out making cake pops as well, let me know in the comments down below. Also, I wanted to remind you all that I have some absolutely adorable merchandise in my Redbubble shop. You can get everything from t-shirts, stickers, aprons, mugs, and more. Be sure to check out the link to my shop in the description. Until next time, mwah!